Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's check out that more. All right. Let's. So. All right. New exotics. Got this. Final blows of this weapon enable a charge shot for a short duration. Targets hit by this shot are instantly frozen at the cost of the weapon's entire maximum. Okay. A lore. I. Guess it's gonna have a it's gonna have a catalyst. Um, I don't I don't see what it's supposed to do yet, but it will have one. So that's yeah, because it's a season pass weapon. Well, yeah. So this will be this will be useful, I think, especially in nightfalls. Especially if we get a sidearm champion mod of some kind. But overall, I don't have a whole lot to, to say about this at the moment. I need to see what it see what it does in action because stasis is kind of weird. Um, we have the class is back. Interesting. Okay. So this is also gonna have a catalyst apparently, unless this is just bugged. Um. So, single bolt with each trigger pull. And then you can swap fire modes when you're overcharged to get a, like an actual just LFR shot. That's not how that worked in D1, I don't think, but I don't really know enough about it to compare the two. So, I bet this is going to be... Oh, it's an LFR in the energy slot, though, so that's neat. So that could that could open up some some interesting builds. Probably be really good in Gambit. All right, class swords. Class swords are back, and the Titan one is more of a weapon. I I think that's really all you need to know about this is you, it's you, you can get Vorpal weapon on this. Um, if you can get Swordmaster's Gar, which I assume you can, this thing is going to be ridiculous. Um, the quote-unquote curated roll does not have sword master. It's got heavy guard. So you're going to want a random roll if a curated one is even available. But this is going to be ridiculously good. This is probably, I bet it's going to be from the six-man activity. It's going to be, it's going to be like the menagerie swords. But yeah, like Vorpal, oh man. Or even Whirlwind. Either one will be really good. Um, but yeah, glad, glad this is back. Quick Fang, Hunter Sword, has... That's interesting. So they put one for all on a sword. Like, I, the thing with swords is they're like a boss DPS weapon. So it's going to be kind of... That's interesting. Because they're not really an ad clear weapon because they just clear ads so fast. So like, in, in an odd use case, that could be really good. If you can hit three adds and then wail on a boss. But the only place I can really think of where you might have a chance to set that up is Last Wish. I don't... I guess Last Wish, I guess Prophecy. Gambit, maybe? I mean, there's like there's some places, but it's like not going to be the most consistent, consistent thing. Hello, Pixie. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I... I... Started rambling about these swords. Anyway, leave the sword masters on the carry. God, stupid hunters. I turn these edges of the warlock sword. There's nothing interesting. Okay, it's now interesting. They made the warlock sword a vortex frame. I think that's the same as falling guillotine because it's got the spin attack. Um, the curated roll has thresh and whirlwind, which is pretty good. You can get Thresh and Surrounded, though. It's going to be better. 
Karen, try and get Swordmasters. Swordmasters guard. Um, yeah. At least it's not a. It's, at least it's it's it has the same look as the old Warlock sword, which always looked good. But it's got it's got a quote unquote unique frame. I don't. I think Vortex is the same as Falling Guillotine, but it's it's something. It's still better than just a generic sword. That's what I'm getting at. All right. Kinetic weapons. Chroma Rush. Legendary kinetic auto rifle. Rapid fire frame. Amanda will be happy about that. Um, so this is like your steel feather repeater. Um, ooh, that's a cool perk. All right. So new perks. New perks. Let's go. Tunnel vision. New perk. Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That's gonna like and this thing can roll kill clips. So you get if you get that in kill clip, you can shred people in PvP. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Um and then I guess another new perk here, Adrenaline Junkie. Grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. That could be good. It's going to depend on how much damage it does. I want to see, and also I want to see, that could be really good on Warlock with Getaway Artist. If Getaway Artist counts for it, but I'm not, that's something I'll have to test. I mean, I hate it when I die to anything. I can, I can find a way to complain about anything. Um... Another new... Ooh, heating up. Okay, this is also cool. Final blows of this weapon increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil. So they added a couple of perks that are going to be really, really good in PvP. Um, overall, the perk pool on here is really good, too. I think the only one you're not really going to want is Dynamic Sway. Well, I guess Dynamic Sway's okay, but it's going to be kind of a PvP. So it's got, like, a few... Like, four really good PvP perks, I guess, if you include Dynamic Sway. It is a rapid fire, so I guess it is. And you've got Feeding Frenzy and Subsistence for PvE. And you've got Kill Clip, Rampage, Thrash, Wellspring, uh, Adrenaline Junkie. Tap the Trigger is not even bad in PvP, I just think Kill Clip is going to be better. Um, only one ranged perk in the uh, magazine column, though. So that's going to be that's going to be the issue with this gun is trying to get everything you want in the one ranged perk, especially if you're looking for PvP. Uh, but overall, that's that's pretty exciting. Uh, hey, we got a kinetic grenade launcher. All right. So this is the mountaintop placement. Uh, danger zone. Blast radius on this weapon increases when surrounded by combatants. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! All right. Well, that's gonna be. Uh... I'm gonna find all kinds of ways to kill myself with that. Um, it's got field prep. Doesn't have auto loading. Does have quick draw. Does have life from gold. Uh, this column, honestly, I think that's the worst perk here, honestly, because the others are Thresh, Vorpal, Demo, One for All, and Frenzy. All of those are really good. Danger Zone's cool, I guess, but, I mean, you're just gonna kill yourself with it. Field Prep, Surplus, Ambitious Assassin, Quick Draw, Lead from Gold. Even Slide Shot's not gonna be bad, because you can, uh, shoot, reload, shoot again. Hello, Moon. Yes, I did say Thresh. It's a perk that gives you super energy. It's basically bad juju, but for legendary weapons. I don't remember. I think you're you're a warlock man, aren't you, man? So you're you and you and Cody are both bad juju void bomb enthusiasts. Uh, proximity and spike grenades. So those are both both can be good. Blinding nades. Axe will be happy about that. Uh, overall, I'm I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy we get a legendary grenade launcher again. Ah, you're an arc chad. Well, there's a there's a new there's a new perk that increases your weapon damage with grenade final blows. So that might that might interest you more. With all the ways uh, arc locks get grenades back. Fatebringer, it's back. It's a kinetic. The curator rolls Firefly and Explosive Payload. <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's a 140. 
Fire, like, Firefly is gonna be so awesome on this thing. I'm so glad they brought that back on Legendaries. Um, overall, like, this gun's gonna be a lot of fun, at least in PvE. Uh, it's got Tunnel Vision, too. So Firefly, like, Tunnel Vision, or, or Fire, like, Tunnel Vision Kill Clip in PvP could be fun. Um, it's, if this is a good, wait, what is this? What? See ya, Moon. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun with your college stuff, I say. I'm supposed to be working on an exam. Christ. Rewind rounds. All right, I guess this is a new... Well, it might be new. This could be something from D1 that I don't know about. When this magazine... When this weapon's magazine is empty, it refills from reserves based on the number of hits. Yeah, trying to get in on day one is impossible. It's, I'm going to... Do this review, do my exam, and then it'll probably still be down for another two hours, so. Um, I so I guess this could reload entirely from reserves? I don't know. If that's on, like, a special weapon, that could be ridiculous. I think, I'm pretty sure this raid has a sniper rifle, so that's, that's what we'll have to look out for. But it's an energy, so we won't see it for a while. So go ahead and try and reload these tabs ahead of time. Okay, so time loss fade burn. I don't know what the difference is. I, l I don't see any difference. Maybe this one just looks cooler. I, I don't think there's any difference. There's no difference in the perk pools. So I think it, it just looks different, I think. This, this, this one's gold. This one's silver chromey. Um, same perk pools. No ricochet rounds. Just disappointing i guess but honestly firefly coming back especially if you get that with explosive payload that'll be um that could that'll be really fun survivor's epitaph i don't know i guess you get oh this is a 180 i guess you get this from shacks so this is gonna be a crucible drop i guess Yeah, this is a crucible drop. This has another ridiculously bloated perk pool. Um, this perk pool at least. Oh, Firefly. Okay, that's one of Ace of Spades like eight perks. Um, it's Outlaw and Dragonfly combined into one perk. Um, it was a thing in D one, and then I guess they split it up in D two, and they made both more effective. So the reload speed and Dragonfly effect are both weaker than Outlaw and Dragonfly as we know them in D2, but they're on one perk, so you can get it and then another perk as well. Um, so Shaq's gun has... It's got a lot of good perks, honestly. This is the rare gun where it actually has good perks. Like, uh, for a, you know, gun with so many perks, they're actually mostly good. Eye of the Storm is not great here, neither is Osmosis, neither is Moving Target, but the rest of them are honestly okay. Firmly Planted isn't great in the first column, but it's not, not the end of the world because the rest of it's pretty decent. Um, the only issue is it's a 180 and that, that it, it's just, it's not the best archetype. Um, but it looks nice. Hung Jury. So this is the D1 gun that everyone loves. Uh, it does have an adept version. Let's you've got you got you can get rapid hit and firefly. Alright, that's kind of neat. Box breathing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to be chasing this since I never got the box breathing 180 from uh, Scourge. Um, this, I mean, it's an okay perk pool. I think that could be a little disappointing for some people. It's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, first column, subsistence, moving target, rapid hit, heating up, bottomless grief, surplus. Everything except bottomless grief is good. 
Um, the second one, Adrenaline Junkie, Box Breathing, Explosive Payload, Wellspring, One for All, Firefly. So, it's got damage perks, but nothing... It doesn't just have like kill clip, multi kill clip, rampage. It's like it's like okay, you kind of you gotta you gotta work for it, I guess. It's not bad. It's gonna be good, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna be good enough to make up for it being a uh, a one eighty scout rifle because they just kind of suck. Um, moving target box breathing will be really fun in PvP though. Only one, only accurized runs in the magazine column though, so that's that's a concern. Uh, the adept version is it's just adept. There's no perk changes. Wrist Walker. This is a legendary kinetic shot. It's a lightweight frame. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Their curated roll sucks. So I hope that's not a real thing. Oh, this is an iron banner shotgun. Oh God, no. Quick draw, Vorpal. All right, well, I guess um, I'll see you guys in Iron Banner. <gasps> it has Iron Reach. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so you can get, like, Quick Draw and then Iron Reach, which gives you plus 20 range at the cost of stability, and it's a shotgun, so who cares? You get Vorpal, Killing Wind, Demol... Oh, this is going to be so good. Very excited to see a lightweight shotgun in the kinetic slot again. Very, very happy. All right. And this page did not load properly. Neither did this one. Oh, these are not. I like how it says they loaded, so we'll just have to skip ahead a bit. The number. I don't know where this is from. I guess this is just going to be in the loot pool. This has nothing of value. Okay, it has one for all multi kill clip wellspring in one column, but the first column is nothing. Like, it is surplus, I guess. And it's a 450, so this is actually just the most worthless gun uh, if they've added in a significant. Oh, okay, here we go. No composure. This. Com no composure. This is the fusion rifle, this is the pinnacle. Uh, projection fuse, it's a rapid fire frame, welp. Uh, hey, look who it is, it's Reservoir Burst. So this is a rapid fire frame, and this has loaded questions perk. Uh, let me go just post that, and I'm just gonna say that in spoilers. Loaded question is back, baby. Um, so, and feeding for, okay, so that'll be fun in PvE. Um, uh, it won't be great in PvP, because it's a rapid fire frame. Or, like, it'll be okay, but you've got to be a psychopath to use it. Rapid fire is, it's, it's not a, precision and high impact are really easy to use. Adaptive just kind of sucks. Rapid fire, you can... Be good with it because you need to hit like one full shot and then like half of a second for a kill, but you've gotta you've gotta know how to peek. Still good a uh, good set of perks on it. That'll be a lot of fun. Um let's see if these okay, farewell. Legendary kinetic sidearm. It is a lightweight frame. Um a decent set of perks, I guess. You got tunnel vision heating up. Rangefinder, full auto, subsistence moving targets. That's all good. Frenzy, adrenaline junkie, unrelenting, multi kill clip, thresh, and vorpal. So all, that's all pretty good. Um, the only range perk in the mag column is accurized rounds again. I wonder if they're trying to move away from ricochet rounds because I'm not seeing it much. Um, it's a good. It'll be good. I wouldn't say it'll be great. Lightweight frames are not the most consistent because they tend to bounce a lot. But it's got good perks. And it'll probably make up for it. Here's a raid weapon. Pray to Revenge. Okay, this is a sniper rifle. It does have rewind rounds. So that's very interesting. It's a rapid fire frame. Uh, you can get quick draw opening shot. For PvP. It's got Firefly, so I mean that could be fun. Uh I guess for PvE, like a boss damage, you could get something like rewind rounds. 
and then Frenzy or High Impact Reserves. And either one of those would be pretty good. Um, it's This is actually a decent perk pull. I think Feeding Frenzy is... Re Feeding Frenzy is the only truly wasted perk. Osmosis isn't a great perk, but it's not in the column with the damage perks. It's just not a great perk in general. It's just got niche uses in... Um, Nightfalls. And that may, may not even be as useful now because um, Anti Barrier Sniper will be gone. Uh, there's a time loss version that's Chrome. Plug one. Is this. Okay, this is a Vanguard weapon. Nightfalls. Ooh, two new perks here. Alright, what's this do? Uh, it's. I'm gonna have to refresh the page. It's not, not showing up. It has two new perks. I don't know. I This one has a boot and a like a backup plan icon inside the boot. So I'm going to take a guess and say that like after immediately after sprinting, maybe you get um I don't like in decreased charge time. Maybe. Okay. Eric, here we go. This one's yes. Okay, so I can I can look at the the adept version. They're not going to be any different. Corner, faster charge time or draw time when surrounded by com combatants. That'll be... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not... Gonna be useful all the time, but it's not bad. Kickstart is a new perk as well. Gain bonus damage and charge rate after a during a slide after sprinting for a short duration. Oh, God, why? It's a precision frame, too. So... Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be rough, buddy. Prepare yourselves for PvP. The fusion... The fusion... The fusion monkeys are back. Backup plan as well. This rolls with Reservoir Burst. All right. So Feeding Frenzy Reservoir Burst on this, too. So, two guns with Reservoir Burst. This season. That's going to be... That's going to be pretty cool. I am a big fan of that. Um... That's from, this one's from Nightfalls, so. Alright, what do we got here? Empty Vessel. This is a energy grenade launcher. It says, it says Banshee. I don't know what this is from. I don't know if this is a world drop or if this is Vanguard. It's got the Vanguard color scheme, so I'm going to guess it's the strike weapon. Uh, it doesn't have, it does have auto-loading and Vorpal. So this is, this is going to be pretty good. I wouldn't say it's great. Well, I actually, you know what? I, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say it's great. This has a lot of good perks. Anything you could ever want on a grenade launcher is here. The issue is going to be getting what you want without getting something trashy like Underdog, Snapshot, or Unrelenting. Uh, the rest of it's good. It does have Danger Zone. It's got Genesis. That could be interesting. I think Auto Loading, Lead from Gold, Ambitious Assassin, Field Prep, Surplus Quick Draw. Those are all good. And then you'll probably just want Vorpal. I think Vorpal's always just going to be the best. That's grenade launcher thing you could get. And still, two new two new legendary grenade launchers, one in each slot. Uh finite impactor. What is okay, this is a This is a 140 Iron Banner hand cannon in the energy slot. It's arc. It does not have a reload perk. Uh it's got heating up, it's got killing wind. And then multi kill. Ah, oh, this gun sucks. Wow. Uh, multi kill plum and one for all are both good, but there's no reload perk. So, I mean, I guess you'd have to try and get light mag, or flared. Either one would be okay. It's that's eh, it's just not great. I don't think it has enough going for it really. Grid skipper, legendary energy pulse rifle. It is a rapid fire frame, so that's back. Um, this doesn't have a lot. It does have ricochet, so that's pretty good. Um, but none of these damage perks are super appealing for PvP. Good for PvE, I guess. Um, heating up is yeah. I mean, there's it's eh. It's kind of eh. I don't know. I don't. 
I was kind of hoping there'd be Feeding Frenzy or Outlaw, but there's not, and these do not reload all that quickly. So that's that's a shame. No drop pack either. Eh. Yeah, I mean it's it's okay. It's not great though. Pleiades Corrector. This is a 200 RPM scout rifle. It's hideous. I guess this is a world drop. Uh, hey, this has a reload perk. Smile. Fourth times surplus outlaw subsistence. Get some like wellspring multi kill clip maybe demo. It's not bad. It's not great. It's a 200 RPM. They're just never, never all that good. Well, I shouldn't say that. They're mostly not that good. It's a lightweight. It's the same as my watch. It's just, I don't think it's going to be good enough for you to really want to use it. Not when you can get better rolls on... Well, I guess, not when you can get better rolls on Vouchsafe. I say knowing full well that you will never get a better roll on Vouchsafe because trying to get a good one is impossible. Um, so now you have two chances at not getting what you want if you want a 200 RPM energy scout rifle. Vision of Confluence. This is like, this is a gun I think people were really hyped about. It's a 180 energy scout rifle. So you already know it's going to be disappointing, even though everyone's excited about it. This has an awful perk pool. Well, not awful, but full auto is in the wrong column for what you would like. Um... Surplus. Ooh, actually, never mind. Never mind. I take it back. You can get Wellspring Thresh on this. So if you are a Warlock and you really like ability re regen, you can get Wellspring and Thresh on the same gun. Um, it's got Rewind Rounds. It's got Kill Clip. It's got Firefly. This is yeah. You know what? This isn't this isn't as bad as I thought on initially. It's still a 180. So like the the intrinsic frame of the gun sucks. It's just bad. But it does have good perks, so this that, that'll help. Uh, it also has ricochet rounds and high cal, so that's that's actually not bad. Oh god, there's a lot of tabs that I haven't loaded. Let me try and reload these. Oh, they're just not loading. Yikes. Oh no, some of them might be. I can't tell. Alright, well, that's not... As bad as I thought it was going to be. Found Verdict. This is the shotgun. This is an aggressive frame. It doesn't have quick draw because they did away with that. It does have surplus. Vorpal. Auto loading. Full on. It's got rewind rounds. So that's kind of neat. Um, surplus. Auto loading. Full auto. All going to be decent. Uh, one, two punch. Opening shot. Vorpal, I kind of want to say Frenzy, but that's like a PvE thing. That won't do much good in PvP. And it's an aggressive frame, so it'll mostly be used there, I think. But this is pretty good. It's got Accurized. That's always helpful. Um, overall, that's that's a pretty good... Um, that's a good perk pool. I wouldn't say it's fantastic, but it is... It got, I mean, it, yeah, and it can't real quick draw anymore. Right. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I feel like frenzies won't do you much good. Killing one could be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty good. Unrelenting slide shot isn't very good. I don't know why. This especially unrelenting. I just think it's a useless perk. So I'm just I'm just critical of that. Oh boy, here we go. It's another slug shot gun with dragonfly. Um, it does have auto loading, so if you still don't have a good first in, last out, uh, this isn't bad. Um, it's got surrounded, so it does have a damage perk. It won't be particularly useful, but it, it will be there. It does have frenzy, actually, so that, that kind of makes up for it. So if you're looking for a first in, last out kind of gun, this, this will, this will work. You can also get quick draw opening shot if you're a PvP player. Uh, the Decide. Legendary Energy Shot. Where, what, what is this here for? Where do you even get this? Hey, it's a rapid fire frame. Haven't gotten one of those since Wishbringer came back. Uh, and it has nothing of value, so I'm just going to be disappointed. Um... 
Well, I guess not nothing, but it's not, still not great. It doesn't have quick draw. It's got surplus, I guess, is okay. But overall, this is not going to be great for PvP, which is where I like using these. It's got Vorpal. Yeah, I yeah, it's it's kind of limited. I'm not, man. I still yeah, Wishbringer's still probably gonna be better because you can get Rampage. This is just not gonna. Vorpal will be okay, but it's not gonna be good enough to warrant using it. I think. Unless you get like a perfect range roll. The Vision, legendary energy sidearm, is arc. It. Is an Avalon adaptive frame since the first sidearm. Where do you get this? I can't tell where you get this. It's kind of got. It's an Avalon, so you'd think Vanguard, but it's got the same kind of vibe as the um, other fallen splicery looking weapons. It's got the same color scheme, so I'm going to assume it's from there, maybe? But I'm not, not confident. It's got Full Auto, it's got Ambitious Assassin, Surplus. Uh, you could get Grave Robber, Swashbuckler. It's got Kill Clip, One for All. Kill Clip and One for All in the damage column. It, I mean, this is not a bad pork pull. Uh, you'd want Surplus, Ambitious Assassin, and Full Auto with One for All or Swashbuckler for PvE, and then Killing Wind, Kill Clip for PvP. Um, not bad i think it could be better i think last dance is still going to be a better pvp option just because you can get full auto tap the trigger if you can get some range with it but i mean it's not bad if you like that kind of sidearm this will be a much better pve option than last dance uh occluded finality is a legendary energy sniper this is i think this is iron banner It is an aggressive frame. It does not have quick draw. It does have auto loading in Vorpal. It's also got Mulligan in Vorpal. This will be yeah. This is an Iron Banner weapon. It's got Iron Rage. This will be a good PVE gun if you want an if you want an energy sniper for whatever reason. Uh, auto loading in Vorpal or Mulligan in Vorpal will be really really good. Uh, or even surplus and surplus in Vorpal might actually end up being better just because you can get some reload speed. Because since it's only going to have three in the mag, I hot swapping with it probably won't be particularly efficient. But, I mean... Eh. Pretty good. That is that is not bad. You can get extended mag. That'll put another one in the mag. So if you get that with auto-loading, that'll be good. It's a good gun. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so that actually does give me a reason to play Iron Banner, I guess. Uzume RR4, another energy sniper rifle. It's an Amalon. And it's from Strikes. Okay, this is a nightfall weapon. I haven't seen one of these since the morning comes. Uh, caboose cartridge. Triple tap, lead from gold. Um, This is kind of okay, I guess. It's an adaptive frame. You could get triple tap Vorpal or triple tap high impact reserves for like boss TPS, I guess. Um, and that's uh that's that's it. That's kind of it. It's not not great. Not as good as the Iron Banner Sniper. It's not terrible either, but I don't think it's gonna be good enough to really use unless you get a perfect roll. It does have an adept version. Borrowed Time, Legendary Energy Submachine Gun. This is a Gambit drop, I guess. This is going... It looks exactly like Exit Strategy. It's a 750, though, so it's an aggressive frame. It has an extremely bloated perk pool, as they do. Um, but at least the perks are... It's an SMG, so realistically, it's okay if you don't get a reload perk, even if it's ideal. Um, you can get Grave Robber Swash. You can get something like Overflow in a damage perk. You can get Feeding Frenzy in a damage perk. You can get Surplus in a damage perk. Fourth Times in a damage perk. It's got Heating Up, Tunnel Vision, and Range Finder for the PvP nerds. Um, the only thing this is, and in the damage perk column, by the way, Adrenaline Junkie, Dragonfly, Thresh, Frenzy, Wellspring, Demo, 
Swashbuckler, One for All, Rampage, Surrounded. This has just about any, like, useful PvE perk you could possibly want. And one of the non-like PvE perks is Tap the Trigger, which is still going to be good in PvP. I think the only wasted perk in this column is Snapshot. I think that's the only perk that's not useful here. Uh, the rest of it's really, really good. Uh, Shira's Wrath. This has in depth version. Okay, this is an energy submachine gun. This is the new Trials weapon. This is a 600 RPM precision frame, so Momo will be excited about that. It's basically an energy uh, antiope. Does have kill clip. Does not have a reload perk. But quick draw kill clip, get accurized rounds on there. This could be really good. Tunnel vision as well. So like tunnel vision kill clip on a 600 um, SMG, like that that that'll mow people down. There, that yeah, that's exciting. So I think that's that is actually worth chasing if you're a PvP enthusiast. I am not, so I probably won't care. But it, it I'm happy for the people that do like this archetype in PvP. Um, stochastic variable, another energy submachine gun. This is a lightweight frame. Yeah, I guess it's a world drop. It is feeding frenzy multi kill? Eh, 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 it's not. Eh, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's got multi kill clip, wellspring, dragonfly, and quick draw in the first column, and then killing wind, surplus, ambitious assassin, feeding frenzy in the other. So, there's, like, a couple of perks in each that suck, and then, like, four that are okay. Uh, it's got ricochet rounds. Oh, this is the cool frame! Oh, so this is, this is like the, um, Curse of Osiris weapon. Uh, where you can roll Phase Magazine. Which, uh, can increase the damage, but lowers the rate of fire. So, you can basically swap between, I think, and this, the 900, and an aggressive frame. Or something like that. Like you get more damage at the cost of rounds per minute, but it's pretty it's pretty cool. Uh kinda like if you just prefer lower fire rate, then you can change. That's cool. I'm I'm glad that frame is back because it's that that was a cool frame. It also has ricochet rounds, but it's if nine hundred RPM is your thing. Memory injury. Alright, so heavy weapons, which is where I slowly begin to not care because they're never fun uh memory interdict this is a, a, i don't okay so there's a whole bunch of the Laksh, lakshmi 2 weapons which i think was i think it was future war, war cult uh a whole bunch of these are back um this has uh, you can get auto loading spike nades. That's all you really need to know. It's got danger zone, chain reaction, wellspring, impulse amplifier is kind of neat. I get impulse amplifier actually with spike nades would be real. Okay, so this might be good for uh, boss DPS because impulse amplifier increases projectile velocity, which is what spike nades impact damage scales with. So that that could be neat. And then you could take something like, I don't know, like, maybe. Odd use case scenario, I know. You get something like Elemental Capacitor gives you reload speed. Um, and that could be, that could be okay. That could be okay. Archon's Thunder, alright, here we go. Legendary Power Machine Gun, it looks almost exactly like Thunderlord, but with funny fallen trappings. It's a high impact frame. It doesn't have a reload perk. It's an iron banner gun. Okay, it has it has an it has field prep. I take it back. Um it's not great, it's not better than anything you can currently get. I guess field prep rampage is okay. Or like maybe mulligan ramp surplus, I guess it's okay too, but it's eh. Eh. It's just not great. There's nothing here that makes it worth using over another LMG. Corrective measure. This is yet another LMG. This is an adaptive frame. Oh, I guess this is from uh, this is from Vogue. 
This is Firefly. Or wait, yeah, it is. There it is. Ooh, this has subsistence. Ooh. Subsistence on an LMG, especially after the changes where it doesn't reduce reserves. Yeah, I get that in like Firefly. Yeah, one for all maybe. That'll be cool. Try and get this with uh, subsistence and then some other cool perk. Um, and then it's got a time loss version. Shattered Cypher. Uh, this is a rabbit. Okay, so we're getting one of each frame type for LMGs. Uh, this has auto loading, rampage. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Under pressure and slideways won't be great. The other perks in that column will be usable. Unrelenting snapshot, zen moment aren't great, but surrounded rampage and adrenaline junkie probably will be. It's not bad. It's not great. It doesn't have ricochet. It's only got to accurize again, like all these other guns. So you're kind of limited trying to get ranged. You've got to get lucky. Um, Yeah, it's all right. If you want a rapid fire frame, that's what you should go for. Haze and Vengeance. Okay, this is a legendary rocket launcher from the thing. The raid bog. Crescent frame. Very good perk pull. Very, very good. First column. Tracking module. Quick draw. Auto loading. Impulse amplifier. Surplus. Overflow on a heavy weapon. So if you walk across a heavy brick, you're going to get two rockets. Second column. Four pull. Lasting impression. Demolitious isn't great. Wellspring isn't great. Thresh isn't great. Cluster Bomb. So, really, any perk in that first column, I think Overflow and Autoloading being the big funny ones, so it would be the most entertaining to use, and then Vorpal or Cluster uh, would be best, in the, at least in PvE. And then in PvP, you'd want Tracking or Quick Draw with probably Lasting Impression. Or, well, and eh, just add Lasting Impression the first time I mentioned. Demo, Wellspring, Thresh aren't going to be particularly useful because it is a rocket launcher. And therefore it is... Eh. eh. Just eh. You don't, you don't really use them for ad clear to the point where you would be getting a lot of return on that. Eh, as a time loss version. Uh, let's see. If Light.gg is still up, I will... And not dying, I will take a look at the new exotic armor. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, those are... Okay. Alright, Path of the Burning Steps for Titans. Solar Final Blows periodically grant you escalating bonus to weapon damage. You are harder to slow or freeze with stasis. When you break out, you take no damage from doing so, creating a burst of solar energy around yourself. This will be very, very good in PvP. Um, a PVE, it'll be okay. I still, th I think, um, the other, the other solar boot thingies will be better. The ugly ones. Um, at least these look cool. That's nice. Um, but this will be a lot better in PVP. Especially the anti-stasis effect. Um... All, yeah, I yeah. I think I I think this is really only going to be a bottom tree enthusiast PVP exotic. Because if you're going middle tree devastator, you're still going to want Ash and Wake IMO. I think that that'll just work better. Even bottom tree, I think Hoyle will be more consistent. Star Reader Scales is the hunter armor. You gain additional super energy from orbs of power you pick up. When your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges your super, causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast, and a bonus to your super damage. At maximum overcharge, you also gain an overshield. I wonder... So the funny thing is, is when you overcharge your super, and you gain max, and you gain bonus damage, 
I wonder if you can cast it, switch to Golden Gun, and the bonus damage still stays. I think that that could be, like, game-breakingly broken, depending on how much of a damage buff that is. Because I don't think this is tied to any particular subclass. Like, I think you can just use this with whatever. So if you can use it to, like, swap to other supers... Like, that's gonna be... That's gonna be insane. Um, so we'll see if it works like that. If it does, it'll be broken and get nerfed. If it doesn't, then... Um, it'll still be really good, but it won't be broken. I mean, you... A bonus damage, I like, it's just gonna be... It's gonna be really good. Uh, Boots of the Assembler. This is the Warlock exa Standing in a rift creates noble seekers that seek out allies that are not in a rift and heal them. Oh, so you still keep your rift. Standing in an empowering rift creates noble seekers that grant both you and your ally a damage bonus. Each time a noble seeker finds one of your allies, the duration of your rift is briefly extended while you are standing in it. Holy cow. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to, like, just go hard and try and get these before Bog, because that is massive. That is an absolutely massive exotic. You still keep your Rift. You basically just get Lumina rounds. Wow. And it, and it gives you, like, a Sanguine Alchemy-esque effect where it extends your Rift duration. So if you're in a raid with five people and they're in in a close enough proximity to pick up Noble Seekers, like, you're just going to keep getting Rifts. Especially if you're, um... Especially, assuming it... I mean, it heals, and it, if Lumina procs the, um, Blessing of, uh... Whatever it's called. The Benevolent Dawn, I think, is what it's called. Which gives you the whole bunch of energy in it. If that... If that applies, if that continues the duration, then if you're in a raid and you're hitting a whole bunch of people with Noble Seekers and they're running through your rifts, like, you're probably just going to have a perma rift with all your energy regen. That is going to be enormously powerful. Maybe even in PvP. It, the thing with PvP is that And standing in empower and noble seek okay it works with empowering rift too, so that could be that will be that'll be really good in PvP then because you could use empowering rift to give your allies a damage bonus. We'll see. This will be in like every I guarantee you this will be in every single trials match. If if a person mains warlock and they are playing warlock in PvP, they will be using this exotic because that is just absolutely insane. That is incredibly powerful. Very cool. Very cool exotics. Alright. Well, that is that is everything. Because I think the rest of the exotics are just... Yeah, these are just ornaments. And I don't think... There's, there's like, new armor. But, I mean, it's... Yeah, because in current... Armor doesn't have perks, so... There's nothing here. I don't know what dummy item. I don't. It's probably maybe might be raid armor. I don't know. So, okay. Well, thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. Uh, if I'm feeling motivated later, I might even timestamp everything. But, um, I think since I did it in order, you can kind of skip around to find what you want to find. Peace, and I will see you all.